This influencer was just arrested for some of the most unthinkable pranks on the internet, and I've reviewed hundreds of horrific influencer content, but this might actually be the worst. Because the whole story starts off with this video. Yeah, I'm pausing it here for obvious reasons. We've censored all the victims because they don't deserve this kind of humiliation. Yeah, this absolute coward dropped a bucket of some unknown slop onto a random person commuting. For what you may ask? Well, for some attention on social media, but in reality, what he's probably gonna get is some attention in prison. But unfortunately for the people of Belgium, this is a multi-part series, and he then starts adding a twist of showing him mixing together whatever slop he's gonna throw onto the next person. So here he mixes together some various paints and oils, and then he repeats the same degenerate behavior. Yeah, stopped it there. This is honestly just kind of insane because I wasn't expecting someone to top Johnny Somali this quickly and being the worst influencer. But I mean, hey, here we are. 2023 ended in the worst way possible with garbage influencers, but I guess 2024 is starting off pretty okay with this guy being arrested. And we'll get into that later. Because for some reason, this moron decided to continue this series, even though it wasn't really getting any real traction. But this series seems to be a desperate attempt for attention since his previous series just didn't give him any traction. Like this video, he goes up and asks people to watch his PlayStation 5 as he opens it by saying, guys, today we're going to test out the honesty of people slash others. So now I'm going to go on an adventure in the park with a PlayStation box. But of course, there isn't a PlayStation 5 inside. Otherwise, it'd be too risky because I have dishonest people who could leave with it. That's hypocritical when you see what he did later on. And so what I've put in here is that I left my PlayStation at home at the beach. I've put in a newspaper a torn garbage bag, a Proximus decoder, but that's to throw away. I don't need it. An old book here from school many years ago. Some trash. And here's some trash. And useless things. So it goes without saying, if someone steals it from me, they'll win as PlayStation 5. So here I'll close it again and I'll do it again. And so now I will leave for on an adventure to catch people. En fait, je vais rejoindre un ami là vite fait et je voulais savoir où est garder ma PlayStation 2 minutes, je vois vite je suis fait le rejoindre, je vais faire un truc. Mais je reviens tout de suite hein. Vas-y, ça tout de suite. C'était une blague, c'est une caméra cachée. Ah. Ouais, ouais, il était là, t'as pas vu, il filmait. Ah, ouais, ok, ouais, ouais, ouais. I think Google Translate severely botched that, but that's essentially what he was saying. Then I guess because that video also got him nowhere, he decided to raise the bar and became a literal burden to society for attention. And he started that off by throwing water balloons at random people minding their own business. And since that video also got him nowhere, he resulted to being the ultimate societal skid mark and did this series. So let's continue it here. There's no way he's making any money off this. It's just a tiny bit of attention, I guess. But in the next video of probably the most degenerate series on the internet, he uh, decided to just mix some handkerchiefs, sunflower oil, skim milk, and diced tomatoes before watering it down and then, you know, dumping it on yet another random person on the public transportation in Belgium. Pausing it here. I really hope Belgium throws the book at him and his accomplice, but I feel like it's not very controversial to say, hey, this guy deserves some time for this, especially when he's premeditating all of this multiple times for some social media clout. But something I've never seen before is the company that's responsible for public transportation in Belgium is actually commenting on his videos. With their first comment being, 
Sir, we've become aware that the videos you film on our transport and broadcast on social networks. Your behavior is unacceptable. You are seriously harming the physical integrity of our passengers, as well as our infrastructure and contravening transport rules. In addition, the shooting and distribution of images taken in our stations and vehicles is subject to prior authorization. Please be aware that your actions have been brought to the attention of competent authorities and that you're exposed to prosecution and requests for compensation from the STIB and your victims. We hope that this warning will lead you to immediately stop your degrading practices. Spoiler alert, it did not. But this is from the Brussels Intercommunal Transport Company. But unfortunately for society, his thirst for attention could not be quenched, so he decided to just keep doing this. So then he mixes some dirty water, corn oil, ketchup, sunflower oil, and dog waste. <laughs> and then he did the thing and threw it on another person. So now, in that next video, the same agency, they replied, Sir, we've noted your lack of response to our previous comments regarding the persistence of your degrading and humiliating videos on YouTube. We hereby inform you that legal measures have recently been taken against you. Sincerely, STIBMIVB. And then they commented the exact same thing from the previous video on this video as well. But again, sadly, that didn't really seem to stop him. Because just a few weeks later, he then mixed together some milk, diced potatoes, oil, shampoo, and then put like half a trash can in and then yet again dumped it on a random person. And pause. I mean, again, if they don't throw the book at him, they are mocking their own citizens, just like he is indirectly mocking the Belgian judicial system in his next video, because he was like, hey, by the way, this will probably be the last video of the series, and then I'll go away for a couple months and I'll be back. Because directly translated using Google Translate, he says this series will resume after winter and springtime of next year if everything happens as I imagine it will. So, I mean, here he's heavily alluding that he's going to be arrested and then let go fairly quickly. But he announced that and then he does this in the exact same video. <sighs> so... <laughs> And I don't know, and also this kind of seemed like a different guy here. So maybe this is a duo and they're just kind of switching on who's filming, hard to tell. But then in the final video of the series, he also announces that essentially he'll be gone until after spring, but that video was just deleted by YouTube. And it also seems like his entire channel has been limited in Belgium as his channel bio says, hello, everyone who sees my videos and shorts, change your geographical zone to any other country but Belgium. But that was the least of his worries because so far one victim and the Metro company press charges separately, and he was arrested in early January of this year, and he was charged with intentional assault and battery, damage to property, and damage to property using violence. But I do feel like he's being a little bit too optimistic about his sentencing, because while it is to be determined, he premeditated this. So a premeditated battery could range from a 10 to 15 year prison sentence in Belgium. And he actually video documented that he premeditated this. So I guess that means it sucks to suck, but hopefully they throw the book at him because there should be a 0% chance for this to happen to you in society. But I guess sadly in 2024, that's no longer the case. But thankfully he made things so much easier for investigators because he snitched on himself for clout. Just like this guy. This is also an insane story. Peace.